Hello friends, in this video, let's quickly talk about how to start or use the PSQL or how to change the database in the PSQL window. So in the previous video, so we talked about what are all the different ways of connecting um, Postgres SQL. But in this video, we clearly talk about only PSQL. So this is the one of the best way of uh, connecting to the Postgres SQL server for the developers, maybe for the testers or for the normal uh, t normal users which they don't work in deep in uh, Postgres SQL, then they can go for a um, graphical user interface, PG admin 4. But um, uh, as a developer or as a DBA, I would suggest you to go with a PSQL server. Then how to start or how to use it actually. So let's uh, simply just go uh, to a, a SQL, um, um, like uh, let's start it and then type PSQL. So once you are done with your installation, then obviously you will get a SQL shell within the bracket PSQL. Just click on it, the otherwise, so probably you might be able to see so once you go to the, all the programs. So there in the uh, Postgre SQL 12, so you can see here PSQL. Okay, so you once you open it, you will get this one server is localhost. If you want to change this um, uh, localhost, you can type it if, if you have a different name, let us say. So the name is uh, a different name. I, I don't want to connect to within the PC. I want to connect it to the, some remote server. Just give it. If you're okay with the same, then you can just type enter. So once you enter it, what happened? Okay. So once you let me remove it. Yeah. Enter it. Yeah. So once you enter it, so database name is Postgres. By default, it comes with a Postgres. I do not want to connect to the Postgres SQL. Uh, sorry, Postgres uh, database, default database. I want to connect to my custom database. So I have created a one uh, uh, example database in the server. The name of the database is sample. Let's enter it. So once you enter it, then automatically it comes with the port number 5432. That is a default port. So if you are okay with the port, you can type enter or otherwise if you want to change the port, you can just enter it. Then username, you can go with the same user or I created different user. So let me show you how to create a users and all in the later point of um, the session. So let's enter it. I'm okay with next. Obviously, yes, it asks for the password, uh, provide the password. You may not be able to see, but I entered here. So once I enter the uh, password here, you can see here. Uh, warning console and all you can see sample here by default if you go here you will get a postgres so let me show you one more window let's keep here so let's uh, go to here and the psql and i'll show you what is the by default window you'll get it okay uh, password is let me enter password is mandatory once you enter it you can see here so by default if you go here by default you get a default super user postgres so since Postgres and as well as database name is also Postgres, so sorry. So don't get confused, username and uh, uh, database also Postgres by default here. But here if you see, the username is Postgres, but the database is sample because I modified, the, uh, I want to work in my database. I don't want to work in a default database. So this is how you can change the uh, databases in the uh, PSQL. So this is how you connect and this is how you use it. Here you can uh, type the DDL commands uh, like a create, drop, delete. Uh, transactional commands and all you can do it so we'll talk about one by one in the upcoming uh, sessions okay in the next video i'll talk about the ddl commands and dml commands and all so how to uh, create a schemas and all we will we'll see in the uh, next video so that's all about it if you have any questions please uh, drop your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible thank you